Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this short presentation on the Netcall Omnibus 81 multi-tier system. The standard Netcall Omnibus system uses the multi-tier design as the base, as this provides a structure on which to build production-ready object server configurations. The multi-tier system splits the object server's functionality out into three layers. Display layer, aggregation layer, collection layer. It's always best to start any dual resilient system configured as an aggregation object server layer. The multi-tier system can consist of a number of collection layer object server pairs and a number of display object servers. But the multi-tier system always has two dual resilient object servers at the aggregation layer. The aggregation layer performs the event processing. The collection layer consolidates and deduplicates the events. The aggregation layer performs the event processing and event enrichment. The display layer performs the task of interacting with the users. The collection layer comprises of pairs of object servers connected to the aggregation layer using unidirectional gateways. The collection layer object servers are pairs for use with the probe server and server backup properties. These allow object server failover and fail back. The purpose of the collection layer is to accelerate event processing. The collection object server acts as an events cache and removes loading from the aggregation layer. Events can be configured to expire readily or persist in the collection layers as required. Event data enrichment can occur in the collection layer provided the unidirectional gateways are updated accordingly. The aggregation layer comprises of a dual resilient object server pair synchronized using a bidirectional gateway. The aggregation object servers can be connected to using a virtual object server name, which is useful for clients where failover and failback is not available, such as the JDBC gateway. The purpose of the aggregation layer is to correlate and enhance events. The events are typically processed using the object server triggers and enhanced by netcall impact. A ticketing gateway is typically used for event problem management and a historical gateway such as the JDBC gateway is used to provide event management reports. The display layer is made up of a set of one or more object servers connected to the aggregation layer using unidirectional object server gateways. Their data is a copy of the aggregation layer object servers. The purpose of the display layer is to present processed events to users in a timely manner. The main users of the display layer are event list users and web GUI. The event flow in a multi-tier object server is from the collection layer to the display layer through the aggregation layer. Events are only sent to the aggregation layer when the sent to ag field is set to zero. After the collection to aggregation gateway has processed the events, sent to ag is set to one. Usually events flow freely to the display layer. As described earlier, events flow through the unidirectional gateways between layers and at the aggregation layer through a bidirectional gateway between the two aggregation object servers. By default, all three dynamic tables are propagated between the layers, although it is recommended that alerts.details is not for production systems. An event within the multi-tier system is defined by the identifier and the server name and server serial fields. The multi-tier configuration is provided as a set of files within the multi-tier directory found in the Omni Home directory. These include the object server SQL files and gateway configuration files. Typically, the system is built on multiple servers with the gateway configuration files being copied to a suitable name directory in Omni Home gates with the property files paths updated accordingly. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.